anyone. Yo, what's up guys? Red Rack here, bringing you guys a new video for today. It is here, guys. Blackout. Oh my god, dude. I did not want to play anything, and I warned you guys. I said it. I don't want to play anything. I don't want to upload anything. Everything is boring. Nothing is fun. Everything is stale. Until Blackout gets here, and Blackout has finally came here, and I am just beyond, like, beyond excited for Blackout. It is insane. I've been having so much fun on this game. Vonderhaar has never let us down when you think about it. Black Ops 1, Black Ops 2, Black Ops 3, Blackout. He has never failed. He has never taken an L with a bad COD like Infinite Warfare or even Advanced Warfare. He, he's just, he's always taken a fat W, even if you didn't personally like, for example, Black Ops 3. There's no denying in the numbers that like that game allowed so many people to grow on YouTube and the, the, the community as a whole was really good during that time for that game. So yeah, Von Der Haar hasn't taken an L but he, t he gave me an L right here, you know? I I'm, I'm like, yo, let's just, yeah. That's happened to me like five times, all right? <laughs> Until I finally learned how to get better at dropping in this map. So let's just get right into the gameplay. And by the way, this isn't live. This is, if, if I was to upload live raw gameplay of this game, of this game, it'll just be me sitting down with my controller looking like this. Like, no, not into that. That's pretty damn boring. So yeah, we're gonna drop right into Nuketown Island. Me and my boys, we were going for some really good high kill games. Like we were popping off. But yeah, first thing I wanna mention, when you're landing and you jump out the helicopter, a little tip right here, you wanna land and you wanna go directly down so that your wingsuit goes like that inward, and then you get a lot of downward momentum, then you can angle yourself up, and typically, me and my squad, we're usually like the first people to land, and right here, first house, my favorite gun in the game, the nine millimeter. You'll see why it is in a second. But yeah, we were going for the big dick plays, and as you can see by the Nuketown uh, population, if you didn't know, you can look at the Nuketown thing, and it'll tell you the population so you can actually see how many people were in Nuketown. And as you saw there, there was only five people, which means that there was like my squad plus one. So there was only one other person here and they ended up picking him off just like this, coming coming through with my gun and boom, there you go. So yeah, that kind of sucks. We really wanted to like get like a crazy good early game, stack up on kills, go for a high kill game. But we only got one person at Nuketown first drop. That actually made no sense. But we do get the helicopter. So yeah, unfortunately, that's one thing that we didn't get is that early game. But I do want to say one thing with the trailer that Blackout had. I am very impressed. When you watch the trailer and then you watch how uh, the gameplay is actually played, they did a real good job at uh at making the game actual gameplay fast plays almost as it was in the trailer like you see some of the things in the trailer like shooting from helicopters boom boom jumping off the helicopter like i just did and swantoning and like throwing it down and destroying all these kids it's like bro what in the world is that trailer like there's no way the actual gameplay is like that but as you can see swanton off that helicopter pop that guy with the fake boom slaughter them both taking no damage like come on dude I gotta give them props. They made that trailer look insane, and then I they really did a good job utilizing those vehicles to make not only the trailer uh, look that good, but the actual gameplay is like that as well. It's fast paced, it's fun, it's awesome, guys. So yeah, they did a really good job of that. Shout out to the design team. And now, once again, back to the AUG 9mm. There it is, I faked him out pretty damn bad. I, I broke his ankles right there. And the reason that gun is just, it's just so good, because everyone knows the shield. The shield is terrible, especially if you got level 3 shield and you're, and, you're, and you're trying to AR somebody from long range. You're not killing them, alright? They're gonna kill you before you kill them. But with that with that uh 9mm, if you're playing aggressive with this gun and you absolutely just barrel stuff them in the face and you go in, that high fire rate will shed through their shields. And right there, my boy, my boy Arcos dies to a guy camping in a freaking barn, just sitting down in a corner camping. He gets lasered. You can't do anything about that, but I mean, that's about our way out. Come on, that, that's just the kind of stuff that happens. So I just threw a nice little Molotov in there, put him on fire to avenge my homie. Now right here, we're rotating out to the outer side of the um, outer side of the circle. What we're doing right now is we're actually edge lording, which means that we're taking, we're, we're, we're monitoring the edge of the circle for anyone coming in. And just like you saw right there, I found that guy. But we're also keeping the highest elevation point. While we were edge lording, we were just holding it off for a little bit. Picked off one guy. Once again, just sheds through the armor, guys. That freaking millimeter just, mm, just sheds through their armor. Absolutely destroys them. At this point, 
I'm like, yo, we dropped Nuketown. We got absolutely like no action, but I'm still turning turning this into a good game. We got eight kills right there, and now we're in the home stretch. So I have my loadout is very aggressive loadout. I don't have a lot of long range. My partner, and at this point it was only me and my friend Murez. My partner has a lot of long range weaponry, and I have a lot of aggressive weaponry. So I'm using that smoke grenade to kind of just get closer into enemy lines. I take out one of those guys. And then I pop up on the hot flank behind the tree, and I see the other guy, put a bunch of shots into him, shred off his armor, switch to the AUG, and boom, there it is right there. Pull up behind the last guy, and there we have it, guys. 10 kill victory. That last kill got stolen. It should have been 11, but 11 kill, 10 kill, whatever. We got double-digit victory, aggressive gaming. There's a lot of stuff that needs to be fixed. I talked about there's a lot of stuff that's really good about this game that I complimented them on. And overall, this game is absolutely absolutely insanely fun i'm gonna have a blast doing it i got so many good videos and ideas planned a lot of you guys know me for like trick shotting and stuff on call of duty and all that stuff and you guys are like yo what about sniping and trick shotting in this game and this and that i think i got some cool stuff in store there's a lot of different creative stuff you could do to get like a dope final kill and all that stuff so i got future videos with all that stuff that we're going to be recording tonight tomorrow and until the end of time you know i and i really do feel like i'm going to be playing this game a lot so many of my friends like it and especially when you're good at a game it's fun to enjoy a game when you're good at it and i'm actually i'm a, I'm a pretty sweaty good person at this game all right so i'm i'm a big fan vonda heart thank you you guys made an awesome game i i'm gonna be so sad when the beta is over but good thing is we only have to wait like another month until the full release comes out so yeah i really hope you guys enjoy this is very different to, to the typical videos that i do i usually do like live commentary videos or live highlight videos then I cut them up and it's all live but this time I talked over some gameplay talked about my first impression some tips and tricks some thoughts about the game and all this and all that so yeah once again really hope you guys enjoyed if you did drop a like and a comment down below and subscribe if you're new it's been Red Rack, and I'll catch you guys later